you're not happy in your relationship, it affects your mind and your body and your soul. It's time to figure out how to get happy in there or get out. This is a very complicated decision that I know that you are not taking lightly. But in this video, I'm gonna give you at least these four questions that you could ask yourself to get you started in opening your mind and thinking about what you're gonna do for your future. The first question to ask is, am I staying because I don't wanna be alone? You know, we always think that there's this person with all the faults and all the problems that we have in the relationship or nothing. That's what we're choosing, this or nothing. And that's just not the case. We're not choosing that or nothing. We're choosing that. What other possibilities that might come our way? And we don't know what those possibilities are and it's unknown and that feels out of control and scary, but it's definitely, most positively, not nothing. The second question I want you to ask yourself is, are you beating yourself up? Are you being really hard on yourself? Like, do you feel like this relationship failed and you don't wanna leave the relationship because you're really upset that you failed. Listen, making a conscious decision to leave a relationship doesn't mean failure. It means you made a conscious decision. Or making a, making a decision to stay in a relationship even though it's not going good or give it a chance or try a little bit harder is also a conscious decision. You are not a fool for staying with somebody. You're not. Your eyes are open, you know exactly what you're doing and you're consciously deciding to stay. Stop judging yourself because that just makes this whole situation a whole lot harder. The third question that I want you to ask yourself is, are you afraid about what other people think? Now I know when we get in relationships, we really are in a relationship with all that person's friends and family, right? And so when we break up, we think we're gonna lose all of that and maybe we are. And we're really worried about what all those people think because they were so happy we were together or you changed him or all these other kind of things or, or you don't want to lose that because they're really special people to you. If people react badly to you breaking up with someone that they love, it says more about their emotional issues than it does about what they think about you. And I know it's hard to let that go, but there's nothing else you could do about it. You can't change other people or heal them or do anything that, um, that they don't choose to do for themselves. And so if you need to leave that relationship for you and you know you're gonna hurt some other people, they'll be okay. You know, this is part of their journey too. And sometimes you being a catalyst for someone else in their journey is gonna help them heal in a way that you have no idea yet. Yes, it might hurt them in the short run, but in the long run, it might open them up to other possibilities. You know, anytime we have a crisis in our life, there's an opportunity for healing to be done. And so many people feel like after a crisis in their life, they got to this huge other spiritual place and they're amazed by it. And they wouldn't wish that crisis on anybody else, but they would wish that what they got out of it. And so a lot of times when people are heartbroken, they actually open up to new things to learn and new new ways to be and different and, and change their priorities and actually revitalize their life. So don't worry too much. If you're not meant to be together, you'll both be better off in the long run. The fourth question that I want you to ask yourself is, is there a power issue? Sometimes when we're unhappy in relationships, it's because someone is having some power over us. And this could be very subtle or it could be outwardly violent. But what you want to do is get a community of people around you, get yourself some support, because from that support you can see the situation in a different way. You have a little bit of way to step back and look at the situation and really understand what's going on. And from that position you could stop blaming yourself and you could raise your self-esteem up a little bit and that'll help you make all kinds of decisions about what you need to do with your future. So the first thing you do if you notice that there's a power difference in your relationship is build yourself a community of support. Sometimes we just want somebody else to make these decisions for us. They are so hard and so complicated. And right now it feels pretty overwhelming maybe, but a few months from now or a little while from now, it's gonna all kind of ease out. You know, these, these things kind of heighten and then after the breakup, they kind of all ease out and everyone goes on with their life and does okay. 
Now I'm not assuming that everyone who watches this video is going to break up with their significant other. You could watch some other of my videos on how to reconnect in a relationship and have both of you really decide how you want to be and move forward in that way. I'll put some links below. Relationships that don't feed your soul press you down, but you are light and that light is still in there. And while you're deciding what to do, focus on that light. Focus on how you want to be in the world. And no matter what is happening, let that you that you want to be shine through. If you are struggling with anxiety, go to GiveFearTheBoot.com for free videos and information about my online anxiety recovery program. See you there.